So we are less than three weeks away from Halloween now, and I'm a little behind on my decorating. But I wanted to share with you some of the new things I am working on for this season. As you can see here, I've got my cemetery pillar fence. I got this from a tutorial on YouTube. I'll link that in the description below if you want to see it. It's just styrofoam inch and a half thick styrofoam. I used a four by eight foot sheet, cut it into sections for the top and the sides, screwed them all together, put in some cracks around there, roughened up the edges, painted it gray, and then hit it with a little bit of black spray paint just to give it some shadows. For the chain here, this is just a cheap party chain that I found at Rite Aid. It's originally $8, but if you have the Rite Aid card, it's 50% off. So I got all of these for only four bucks. And each one is just screwed with one screw into the side of the pillar. And I'm a horrible gardener, so I had a bunch of these extra vines laying around. I just decided to rip them out and put them into the chains, wrapped them around each one of them, just to give the extra little creep factor. They're still alive right now, but after a couple days, they should be dead. And lastly, just to keep them in place, in each corner of each pillar, I've got 10 inch tent poles driven into the ground because I live on a really windy corner so I didn't want these blown away. Next up we've got that giant spider I bought at Home Depot last year. I decided to alter it a little bit. If you watched my decoration videos from last year, you'll remember this was on a stand that was about four feet high. I decided to take it off of the stand and just drive the spikes right into the ground to make it look a little more realistic. Next up here we've got this scarecrow here. I did have a little uh, problem with it over the winter. The head snapped off, but just to make a quick alteration, I just decided to stab it into the top of the cross. There you go, quick fix. I'm sure you remember the 12 foot scarecrow that I put up last year. Still in the middle of working on this, gotta get the corn stalks for the hands and then the corn stalks to wrap around the base of it. And then a couple of leaves to put around the neck, kind of like an ascot. Now, the big item I decided to buy this year, I randomly found at Walmart, and I believe this was an in-store exclusive. And it is the 12 foot wide, um, I'm not even sure how tall this is, it's at least 10 or 11 feet tall, Funhouse Insane Clown Inflatable. And if you have seen any of my past Halloween decoration videos, you'll know that inflatables really are not part of my setup. Most of the time, I really think they're too cutesy, but I thought this one was great. It's big, it has presents, the pillars light up, along with the insane clown's face. And I was looking to build an archway this year. Originally, I wanted to do one out of styrofoam, kind of like the pillars carve it up to make it look like foam, but I'm really running out of time. And I'm in the middle of a house renovation right now, so I don't have as much time as I would like to work on my Halloween decorations. But the only thing I don't have running right now besides the lights, in the back of the pillar here, if you can hear me, I hope you can, there is a little music box that actually has really loud carnival music, but I'm gonna be saving that for my Halloween night decoration video, so be on the lookout for that. And if you are looking to buy this, it was only $99 at Walmart. And compared to most inflatables that are this size, that's pretty much a steal. Now the big thing I was working on for this year, yeah, oh I forgot, I've also got this uh, pumpkin pal I corpsed up. This is what I'm gonna be serving candy out of this year. Some little thing I was working on. But the big thing I was working on this year is my life-size Michael Myers display based on his 2018 appearance for the new movie. Right now I'm keeping him aside, I didn't want to show off too much of him. For the mask, I used the Trick or Treat Studios mask that was cast from the movie Master Mold. The sculpt is really good, the paint was pretty sloppy and lacking, so I did a repaint on that, and now it honestly looks really good. For the coveralls, um, I didn't want to get the work right coveralls that were used in the film, because those are pretty pricey, usually around $70, $80. I found ones that are really close. Only thing different is uh, they're missing a pocket flap on the left side. I built that onto a six foot two mannequin, put on a t-shirt under it, popped some used work boots onto his feet, and there, there you go, all done. A lot of people were asking me to finally get a Michael Myers display for Halloween, and here it is. And that is gonna wrap up today's quick Halloween preview video. If you've enjoyed the video and haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions about these decorations or what else I'm planning on for this year. And if you love all things Halloween, horror movies, and monsters, be sure to check out some more of my videos in the future.